Hi, welcome to another episode of Camera Talk. I'm Janika and today we're going to be talking about battery grips. Now, if you don't know what a battery grip is, basically it's a device which goes onto the bottom of your digital SLR camera and provides a number of useful functions and features that you don't get without one. So, what are the main features and functions you get by adding a battery grip to your camera? Well, one of the most important things is that you're getting extended battery life. Now, as we can see in this close-up here, you can actually put multiple batteries into your battery grip. So you've got a choice between either putting AA batteries in the supplied tray or putting an extra lithium ion battery like the one that would originally go on your camera. The other main purposeful feature that you get a battery grip for is that it allows you to shoot much more comfortably with your camera in the portrait orientation. So if you have a look here, this is how I would normally have to be holding the camera if I didn't have a battery grip. And you can see that my arm's kind of up in the air and so I'm not having a very stable or comfortable shooting position. Now, once we've added the battery grip on, you can see that we've got an extra shooting or a shutter button rather. This means that my arms can be locked into the side of my body. I'm gonna be much more stable and much more comfortable for extended shooting sessions when in the portrait orientation. So the other features that you get on a battery grip aside from the extended battery life and the extra shutter button is that a lot of them also incorporate an extra main and secondary sh scroll wheel so that you can adjust settings like your aperture and your shutter speed or select your focus point from the battery grip in the portrait orientation being much more comfortable. So are there any disadvantages to having a battery grip? Well, they do add a bit of weight and size to the camera. So if you want to maintain a small profile, lightweight digital SLR, if you're traveling, then you may not want to put a battery grip on your camera. If on the other hand, you are using heavy lenses on your camera and you're finding that the balance and the center of gravity is not quite right, then adding a battery grip may be one of the best options for you. So how much is a battery grip gonna set you back? Well, in general, Canon and Nikon, they're priced between about two and $300. Some other manufacturers do produce third-party battery grips for the Nikon and Canon cameras, but that's going to come at the expense of the ruggedness of the battery grips. The Canon and Nikons are built very well. Some of the third-party manufacturers, it's a bit plasticky and it may not last as long as your genuine products. So how do you actually attach the battery grip to your camera? Well, the first thing that you generally need to do, although it does vary between camera models, is to take off the battery door from the bottom of your camera. Take out the battery, and then slide the battery grip into the battery compartment and then screw it onto the bottom of the camera. If you've done this properly, it should be a nice secure fit and not much movement should be there at all. So it's a great accessory to balance out the weight of your camera if you've got a heavy lens on the front, extend the battery life and provide a much more stable shooting position. So pick up one today. Happy shooting, Janica.